now I will introduce our uh, main products. First, uh, the main product is uh, green dryer. Uh, our dryer is a low temperature batch type circulating dryer machine. Uh, it is uh, easy operation and a small occupation area. Uh, this machine is widely used in drying green such as rice, corn, wheat, soybeans, sorghum, rape seeds, etc. And also suitable for seed, seed drying. At the same time, the granular materials such as oil, tea seeds, and sunflower seeds can also to be dried. Uh, this dry through this uh, airflow control and the food crop, crop movement, food uh, can be evenly and uh, thoroughly dried, and the green dryer is most uh, suitable for, for slow, uniform drying. Follow the environment, uh, for, follow the convenient transportation, simple installation and maintenance, energy conversation, environmental protection, cost effective, lower power, lower energy consumption, and environmental processing. Protection principle the bonded rice husk to draw wood through the full composition, indirect heat removal. Also, we can use electricity, uh, gas, and diesel as the fuel of this dryer machine. This dryer is indirect drying. Last capacity, it increases the area of drying layer due to its intensity. This dryer is indirect drying. Last capacity, it increases the area of drying layer due to its intensity. This dryer is indirect drying. Last capacity, it increases the area of drying layer due to its intensity. This dryer is indirect drying. Last capacity, it increases the area of drying layer due to its intensity. This dryer is indirect drying. Last capacity, it increases the area of drying layer due to its intensity. This dryer is indirect drying. Last capacity, it increases the area of drying layer due to its intensity. This dryer is indirect drying. Last capacity, it increases the area of drying layer due to its now you can see the models behind me. Uh, this is, these are the models of a green dryer machine. Uh, this dryer is uh, 15 tons and this dryer is also 15 tons. And uh, for, for feeding by this uh, bucket elevator, feeding to this dryer at the dryer top, there is level sensor. Level sensor can test the full capacity of the dryer. For example, if we uh, feeding you 15 tons already, so uh, it, the level sensor will notice the customer it is full, no need to feed in anymore. And uh, it is base type, it means uh, uh, the volume of this dryer and this dryer are 15 tons. Uh, feeding 15 tons and then dry. After the drying time, it will discharge the 15 tons. Total, it uh, is uh, it is circulating type. And the low temperature uh, is provided, uh, the hot air is produced and uh, provided by this hot air stove. Uh, uh, the, the hot uh, air temperature of this stove will Will to this dryer will be around 60 to 80 degrees. And this is the drying section. When green comes from the top to the bottom at this part, the green can be dried evenly. Then after drying, the green will be down to the bucket elevator again. Then feeding to this dryer again. It is a circle. We call it a circulating type. And for this green hot air stove, the coal, the fuel can be coal wood. And if you want to use rice husk, it's also fun. And we need to add a small fan and a small hopper at this uh, at that stove. And also, if you want to use coal, if you want if you want to use gas and diesel as fuel, then we just need to change the stove to burner, and with a smaller stove than this. Uh, generally, one stove can provide uh, 
uh, at most three sets of dryer of the hot air. You can add another dryer here. Uh, for this one stove with two dryers, so the capacity add will be 30 tons per base of these two dryers. For our unit dryer, the max capacity can be 35 tons per base. If two dryers work together, the full capacity will be uh, 70 tons per base. So for unit dryer, the smallest capacity is 15 tons, then 20 tons, 25, 30, 35 tons per base. Uh, this is the feeding. For discharging is from the back of the uh, green dryer. You can use a pipe to discharge the green to the track or uh, to the uh, belt conveyor or uh, to the silos to the silos. All of the uh, transportation ways are fun for this dryer. Uh, now I will show you some photos of our uh, green dryer machine. Uh, look at this one. It uh, is two uh, dryers to in total. One, two, three, three stoves. Uh, each stove provides the hot air of two dryers. Uh, this stove uses Husker as fuel. And uh, each Husker stove, there is a small hopper here. Husker can be feeding two stove by the blower here. Uh, these are the control panel. Uh, we use wooden package to package to pack the these control the panel. Control and panel. these hot air pipes uh, we use wooden package to steel package steel to pack the food control panel. panel. And panel. these hot air pipes uh, we use wooden package to steel package to pack the food control panel. panel. And panel. these hot air pipes uh, we use wooden package to pack the food control panel. And these hot air pipes uh, we Uh, of this picture, this dryer is 15 tons, and this is also 15 tons. And here is a, a stove. It, it provides the hot air of these two dryer. This is the back side of the green dryer, so you can see the green fan here. It, uh, it is used uh, to make the hot air to this drying section, then to dry the greens inside. Uh, these are the ladders. Workers can uh, step on the top by the ladders. And here is, is a, it is a bucket elevator to pre-clean. The green one is a pre-cleaning machine. Uh, it is used to remove the husk, stones, straws, and other impurities. After this uh, pre-cleaner, then the green will go to the dryer. Uh, after drying, uh, the green will be feeding to this back elevator again, then to this uh, small green silo. This is a small production lab pre cleaner, dryer, and silo. Uh, this is also the after drying process. There is a big silo, big silo here. Feeding by back to elevator, then feeding to the green silo. This is also two dryers and a pre cleaner here. You can see the photo over here. Uh, this kind uh, he use uh, burner as the uh, use diesel 
diesel or gas as a as the fuel. You can see this this red one is a burner and this is a small stove. Then the hot air will buy this uh this stainless stainless steel pipe to this yellow green dryer. Uh, this is the side here is also a burner. This is a very small stove. These are three dryers. Here is the control panel. Uh, these are 35 tons per base. At the back side, each dryer has two big fans. Uh, one stove with two dryers also. This is a pre cleaner, then two dryers you can see here. After cleaner, charge, charge to the, discharge to the green dryer. You can see this is, uh, is the back the elevator. And uh, here is also back the elevator. Use uh, two pipes to these two dryers at the same time. This is one big stove with three dryers. You can see the in front of this picture is from the working site. Our engineer can go to the working site to uh, help engineer to install this dryer. Okay, now I will show you some more videos of this green dryer machine. This is the video. Video to this uh, pre cleaner. Then after pre-cleaning, then discharge to the back of the elevator of green dryer, then do drying process. Uh, this is a video from our clients, clients in, in Thai. Dry the paddy. You can see the paddy from inside is very long and thin. This is a control panel. It's Thai language. And this is the discharge video. You can see the pipes, discharge pipes. Then use the belt conveyor to convert to transport the paddy.
Then after trans after uh, drying, they do packing here, packing them into bags. Then to belt conveyor, then to truck directly. This is video from Northeast China, very cold. Now we can show you some more uh, the stories of our green dryers.